five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, my friends. I'm glad to see you. How are you today? I'd like to talk a little bit about balance, one of the principles of art, also known as the principles of design. Balance is the equal distribution of weight in a design. So I'm going to change the color of my pencil here, and I'm going to show you some things on this page that will help you understand it. So symmetrical balance is this um, diagram on the left. Elements used on one side of the design are similar to those on the other side. So if I draw a line down the middle, you can see they're almost exactly the same on both sides. Then we have radial balance. Radial balance is a kind of balance that happens when all of the elements radiate from the center of the design. And you can see that as I draw these lines out from the middle that these shapes come out from the middle. They radiate outwards like the word radius. If you look at this painting in the lower left you can see that these objects are completely different from one another and yet they seem to have the same visual weight. That's called asymmetrical balance. Now let's take a look at a painting you may have seen before. This is Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh painted this in the 1800s. He used lots of swirling brush strokes and colors. If we split it down the middle, we can see that we've got this large black shape on the left. These are some trees. And then we have the sun and the empty sky over on the right. Though these shapes balance each other, they're definitely completely different. Artists today still use the principle of balance in their artwork. One of my favorite artists is a comic book artist named Fiona Staples. Fiona Staples did this comic book cover for a comic called Saga. The people that Fiona Staples drew in this artwork are definitely not the same on both sides. If we put the line down the middle as we did before, we can see that they are not exactly the same and that she's got one person on one side, one person on the other side, and the child in the middle. And it makes for a very interesting looking artwork. But let's take a look at something completely different. The next artwork that I want to show you is one made by a painter in the early 1900s. This painter was Georgia O'Keeffe and she loved to paint pictures of bones. She also did flowers, and some of my students have seen the paintings that Georgia O'Keeffe has made of flowers. I wanted to show you this one because it's ex almost exactly the same on both sides, so you can easily see the balance here. She's got a horn on one side, a horn on the other side, an eye on one side, an eye on the other side. And the nose is a little bit off, but you can definitely see the balance in that artwork. How can you make an artwork that uses balance in an interesting way? I think you can do it. Thanks for watching. Now go make something.